Hey there everyone, this is Danielle with what will probably be a pretty quick burst thoughts. Uh, we're having a look at Townscaper here. Uh, this isn't exactly a game. Uh, the developer describes it as a, more of a toy than a game. As you can see, no goal, no real gameplay, just plenty of building and plenty of beauty. That's it. Uh, Townscaper is available uh, on the Switch. It's also available on uh, Steam, GOG, Epic uh the apple store the android store it's on a lot of different platforms there's actually a free version you can play in your browser if you want to give it a try i don't know what that free version ha has like doesn't have that all the paid versions do i guess i'm about to find out <laughs> but yeah it's it's literally just a little uh toy where you build little towns and it's supposed to be you know relaxing and chill so I played with the web version a little bit, and I liked it, so I'm curious to see how it works on the Switch. Uh, let's see here. There's nothing under my face, so I'll let you know if something does show up. Okay, so I'm pressing the A button right now. That lets me place tiles. Uh, the B button lets me dig away tiles. Uh, the Y button lets me apply the color I have selected, I think. Oh no, the Y button is like an eyedropper. It lets me pick up the color I have selected. And the X button seems to be like a camera control kind of thing. It zooms me over so that wherever my cursor is becomes the middle. Cool. Uh, clicking the sticks does nothing. I can zoom out a little bit and zoom in quite a lot. I'm guessing once I've placed more stuff, I'll be able to zoom more. I also have undo and redo. Those are on the L and R buttons. Uh, I can bring up this thingy by pressing plus. Uh, I've got settings. That's controls. Oh, let's look at this. It does apparently have touch controls. I do want to play with those. Uh, so we will switch over to webcam mode shortly just so I can check that out. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, there's not a lot to this. Uh... It just, basically, you're just placing colored nodes in a grid, uh, but the charming thing is the presentation, essentially. Uh, the way it connects those nodes together is determined by the game's algorithm, and it can produce some nice-looking stuff. Uh, which I think is pretty adorable. I do enjoy the way each time you place something, it has, like, windows. The little chunks fall off into the water. I think it's very cute. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there's no music or anything. It's just the little pop, pop, pop noises as you place things. Uh, I believe there's pretty much no restrictions on what you can place. Uh, you can just keep building your town up, essentially forever. We will be playing with it with the touchscreen shortly. I'm just giving it a little exercise here first. Go. Join those pieces together, you got a little alcove in there. Oop. And yeah, you get the idea. Essentially, it's it's literally just you plop down some little bits and pieces, and they join together to make something that looks pretty, hopefully. <laughs> It's, it's super simple. It's, it's only like a couple dollars. It's not like a full price game or anything because it's not really a game. Um, it's a cute little toy. Uh, and it's a nice one. There we go. Going to, not this way, I think. Oh, that's interesting. Just sort of mash the button a little bit and that happened. Yeah, as you can see, we can now zoom out a bit further because there's more stuff to zoom out from. Uh, my, oh, minus gives you controls immediately without having to go through the menu, which is nice. Yeah, not a lot of options to work with, but you don't really need a lot of options because it's a very simple idea. Just very relaxed. Putting together something beautiful. Uh, bit by bit. As you do.
And yeah, as you place things, it sort of reinterprets what the little sections that you're placing them around should be. Gradually. Um, it's just very simple, very serene. I've more or less shown you the whole game and it's been five minutes. So yeah, this is going to be a short one. <laughs> Uh, you can go in here, I believe, yeah, you're allowed to save multiple towns, I assume. Click new here, then I go open. Yeah, it can load back into the town I was just playing with. Not quite sure how many save slots you get. Uh, you can take a screenshot if you want with this. I think this lets you adjust the sun. Yeah, you can change where the sun is coming from. Makes all the shadows look a little bit different. You've got, what's this thing? Ah, you can go between, like, normal sun, you can have snowy, as though everything is blanketed in snow, or you can have, I'm not quite sure what that view represents. I guess it's like, full bright almost? Maybe fog? I'm not sure. I think the default one probably looks the nicest. Put it on the grid if you want. You can see the grid is quite interestingly shaped in this game. <laughs> This, uh, boy, perhaps is a better word. Uh, we already looked at the settings, there's not a lot in there. I might as well check what languages there are. English, Espanol, Espanol again, Latam, I think that means, like, the Latin version, like, you'd, that you'd use in Mexico and places like that, I think. Buscara? I don't know what language that is. Uh, Francais? Lego? Ratsky? I'm probably butchering some of this pronunciation. Uh, Italiano. Linguam lat lat Latinam. Netherlands. Norsk. Polsky. Portuguese. Two versions of Portuguese. Romanian. Svenska. There are a lot of languages in here. I can't even read some of these. <laughs> Um, yeah, if you want to play a little city building toy that has, what was that, like, 30 languages or something? A, a lot of languages. <laughs> to be fair, like, the language doesn't really matter that much. The gameplay doesn't have any text. It's just this part on the side here, which has, for the most part, little pictures that tell you what everything does. So I'm not sure you would really need it to be in your language anyway, but it looks like it's in many languages, so... If you do have a concern about that, that's something you can handle. You can, um... The game will, will address for you. <laughs> uh, and you can, you can just use putting things together. You get a little balcony if you put things in a certain way. But if you put it the other way, you have little rooftops. Uh, you can extend this out, and then you'll have balconies on that side. Yeah, you get the idea. Essentially, you're just placing, like, nodes in a grid. Uh... And the nodes are making colourful little shapes appear. Uh, the nodes, you know, have different colours and either are there or not, essentially. But the algorithm it's using to decide what city to draw based on what dots you place in this three-dimensional grid. Very nice. And it's very, it's very chill. It's a very relaxing kind of game. Uh, I believe... Um, the reason it has the X button like swoosh you like that is because it's otherwise a little tricky to scroll around. Uh, it's got like edge scrolling on the Switch version. Um, I think in the PC version, I mean, on the web you have like Wasid to move around to, cam to, like, to pan the camera around. Uh, in this one, you don't. You have your cursor moving with this and you've got your, cursor, your camera rotating with this, but you use edge scrolling to actually move around. Or you can press X and it just focuses you. So it's a little more fiddly. I don't think it'd be a huge problem given the nature of the game. Or toy. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> the nature of the experience. Oh, look at that! Got these little legs. They're so cute. <laughs> uh, it just suddenly occurred to me, I wanted to see what happened if I did that. And yeah, it makes a little, uh, like a loading thing for getting packages off boats, I suppose. I like it. You can stretch it out, and then look, benches! Oh, adorable. Is that a mailbox? Oh, so cute. And yeah, like, it's 
it's, it's not a whole lot to talk about, so this isn't going to be a very long video. I'm probably just going to grab my Switch and show you what it does when we're in big webcam mode. Uh, but you basically get the idea, so let me just toggle it over to big webcam. With the big webcam. There we go, nice and big. Uh, grab my Switch. Okay, so you can use the same controls when it's handheld if you want, but it does also have touchscreen controls, which I assume will work more or less as you'd expect. I'm having a little trouble doing it because it's like reversed on my screen. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you get the idea. You can span it around like this. Uh, and you would use, like, one of the sticks to actually scroll yourself around, I suppose. I'm not totally sure what the touch controls are, actually. Let me just... Ugh. Touch controls. Uh, tap to add, long press to remove, very long press to pick color, drag to rotate camera, pinch to zoom. Oh, okay. So it's, it's designed with, like, a, a, a phone-style touchscreen in mind. So you would probably want to go back out of the controls mode now. There we go. What you, should, what you probably want to do is use two fingers and pan around like this and go boop, boop, boop. And yeah, you can long tap on something to get rid of it. I'll hold it like this, that might be easiest. No, then you can't see. Uh, it's, it's tricky. It's tricky to film a touch screen that you're trying to touch. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So yeah, it's very playable with either a touch screen. Uh, you don't need a stylus for this one. Uh, unlike some other games I've played with the t that had, a t like, touch screen support, this one you will not need a stylus. Uh, you will be fine with just your finger. Um, and yeah, it's, it's just a relaxed little experience that I can really only talk about for, like, Ten minutes or so, because there's not much to talk about, uh, apart from how very adorable it is, I suppose. Look at, is that like a beehive? Like a, are there beekeepers living here? Is that what that's about? Oh, and there, there's like binoculars. Now the screen is gone. I don't know why the screen is gone. Hello? Okay, we're back. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there. The, the light on the dock was still on, so the switch was still outputting. It just wasn't getting captured, I guess. Anyway, yeah, you more or less get the idea, and it's only been 13 minutes. But yeah, this is just a charming little toy if you want to just spend some time building something that looks pretty. Uh, definitely give it a go on the web first, and I reckon... If you enjoy what you find, you might want to pick it up on another platform. M maybe on, like, your phone, because I do have uh, iOS and Android versions. But if you want it on a console, it's on consoles too. If you want to get it on, like, uh, Steam or whatever, it's there as well. So, oh, wait, hang on. Hang on, seagulls? Seagulls. Are they seagulls or are they other birds? I'm not sure, but there's birds, and they look very cute. <laughs> oh, gosh. So... But yeah, you can you can sort of see how this game toy experience works just from what we've done here, and yeah, you can just uh, keep extending things and see how bits fit together, and you can make something beautiful. There you go. Set of binoculars. You've got these little shrubs that are sort of bouncing adorably, as you do when you're a shrub. I extend the balcony out a little bit like this. There you go, and then it makes a rooftop over here. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> I'm not sure how you would reach that door, because that's not a door, that's a window, but I don't suppose it really matters. <laughs> yeah, you can hit the Y button to get the same color again, if you wish to do that. And you can plop it there. Oh, there we go. Okay, so you can go... Uh, there's probably stairs inside this piece now, I guess? Not really sure how it works, TVH? 
Uh, anyway. Uh, hopefully you get the idea of what this experience is about, and if it looks like something you'd enjoy, I'll put a link to the like official website in the description. I'll also put a link to the free web version in the description. For some reason, that's not linked on the official website, which is kind of weird. Um, maybe they just haven't updated the website since they put that version out. Uh, but yeah. Um, it's just a little charming experience. Uh, if you go on the developer's Twitter as well, they've actually posted, like, they've been, um, like, uh, boosting posts that people have made with, like, here's the cool thing I made in Cityscaper, and people have made some really impressive looking stuff. Since it's essentially an art program, it's, it's kind of like a really strange way of doing pixel art almost, because you're placing these colored pixels on a three-dimensional grid, except that they turn into pieces of a town. <laughs> oh, it's, 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 a, it's an experience. <laughs> oh, gosh. Anyway, yeah, uh, I imagine you get the idea, and if you want to try it out, feel free to try it out. If you're not interested in trying it out, feel free not to try it out. More or less all I've got to say. Uh, zoom out a little bit. I'm a bit taller. Oop, 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 oop. Oh, I like that. Oop. Oop, oop. Oop, oop, oop. You can just make something that looks intricate and beautiful and somewhat questionably practical. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how you would live in a town like this, but I think it looks nice. And that's kind of what's really important. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you can live in it or not, provided it looks nice. That's definitely the approach people ought to have when they're designing their towns, I'm sure. Oops. Kind of tricky to recolor something. You have to take out the node entirely and replace it like that, but mm, it's doable. There we go. Ah, <sighs> yeah. You can you can tell it's just a very relaxing, very chill experience. And yeah, not much more to say about it really. This is going to be a short video. That's uh. This game called it Townscaper? Townscaper. That's this, uh, kind of, I guess, art program, toy experience, uh, thing that you can play on your Switch, or on Steam, or on GOG, or on Epic, or I'm pretty sure it's on, it's probably on the PlayStation Store as well, but I only saw it on the Xbox Store, and it's on iOS and Android, it's on everything, and there's a web version you can just load in your browser and have a go if you want to try it out without buying anything. Ah, <sighs> that's the experience. <laughs> yeah, I just don't really know what... I guess I'll just wrap up the video, because that's about all i got to say. Um, yeah. Soundscaper. It's... it's pretty. And... It, it... it's very chill to play. And... Like, there's not really any objective or any real gameplay or anything you're trying to achieve, but... If you make something that looks kind of nice, or at least kind of interesting, I think that's really all that matters. A couple of these here. There we go. The purple lid on top of everything. <laughs> uh, and yeah, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye! <laughs>